What is going on guys? It is your boy back at again with another one and I decided to mix it up. Most of the games I've been playing was from PlayStation and a splash of PC games. So I thought to myself, let's just play something of uh, a couple of Nintendo games because ha <laughs> it has been quite a minute, especially this one specifically, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I have not finished it. I like to believe I made a good dent and um and if in case you don't believe me about the years how long it's been let me show you something real quick continue at the very bottom it's auto save by the way so i believe this is the latest one or is it this one or my point is november 4th 2019 so if you were there and i said look out for the next one i apologize <laughs> long wait but here i am but i'm going to try to play it from the from the beginning i know right what are you doing <laughs> because i don't remember my powers how i got here a chunk of the story so i thought it makes more sense to start from scratch even though it will be a minute to get to i imagine this point right here but uh i'm cool with that so let me just put this away this tablet and get ready for the new start my brand new adventures so hopefully i can get this one done sometime this year and then i can go play age of calamity and then from there birth of the wild 2 i want i want to play this in chronological order i want to get all the story bits so let's go cancel rest in peace old file <laughs> i come back only to delete you so new game Overwrite the previous save data. It hurts. It hurts. But and, and I want to. I need to. I I I, <laughs> I want to remember how it started from the very beginning. So let's go new game. And I believe there's a cut in the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna try to be quiet when it happens. The Legend of Zelda. More like the Legend of Link. But that's just me, though. Breath of the Wild. Okay, okay. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. And there you have it, that was the cutscene. I kind of forgot, no, kind of. I forgot that she can speak, Ms. Zelda. Because most of the games I play when Zelda's around, she's kind of like, doesn't really chit chat, just like Link. But now that she can talk, and with an English accent, it's, it's quite nice, I like it. It reminds me of that feeling when I was playing Metroid The Other M on the Nintendo Wii. Hearing Samus speak for the very first time. Same situation. She doesn't really say much. She's just kind of more of an action gal. And then when I heard her speak, it took a minute to just 
adjust her, you know, chit chatting. But I like it over there as well. Also, how you doing, Joel? How you doing? Again, in case you guys don't hear me talking, it's just because it cuts you. I want to pay attention. I want to capture those details, those small details. So yeah, uh, don't. Not really sure how I end up in this container filled with water, and was able to hear Miss Zelda. But I assume they're going to explain that situation on the Age of Calamity, because I believe that's the prequel to this game, right? So yeah. Hopefully they can unveil some some um, some of this mystery because I'm still in the dark, you know. Let's see, A to examine. Oh yes, my Nintendo Switch, but in the game. That As a matter of fact, is a Shika slate. Take it. it oh, Shika slate. You after your long slumber. You want me to take it now? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I think there's a a case for that for the Nintendo Switch. Say it looks like you're carrying one of these things in real life. Sadly, I don't have one. The Sheikah Slate. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before. Unlike the Nintendo Switch. And yes, there's something familiar about it. Indeed. But yeah, how did I end up here in the first place? Like, why here? And why am I giving a Sheikah Slate? You know, what is this supposed to be like? Protection from nukes or something? Big boss blast attacks? And on top of that, why am I naked? Why am I naked? I'm oh, okay, maybe because of the water. Because who goes in the water? Who gets in a container full of water with their clothes on like that? But who took them off? I need answers. Was it Zelda? Oh my god. Also, I'm good at the same time. Not. I, I hear you, Joe. I got you, bro. Uh, here's a little fun fact in case you're interested. If memory serves correctly, when I was playing this for the first time, uh, back then, I'd never pick up the clothes. And, and then I had to... And, and then someone reminded me, like, halfway in the game. They're like, bro, where are your clothes? I'm like, what clothes? You had to go back for them. Yeah, so that that threw me off. I was like, I thought we were supposed to be running naked. <laughs> uh, apparently not. But it is optional. And there they are, my pants. These old trousers are thread, threadbare in spots. But they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. And we can press the, the I was going to say PlayStation Plus button, <laughs> the plus symbol to check our gear. And this should be our shirt. An old shirt. It's musty and yellow, like mustard. A thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side as well. Maybe that was the latest fashion back then. But as you can see how I missed it, it kind of blends with the environment, so... Yeah. They look like these crates. Alright, so let's put on this shirt on. Sorry, ladies. Sorry, but I gotta corrupt the goods. Bam. Yes. Censored. Like in America. Now we have to censor even further. In the pants. Below. There we go. We have covered our... Our, uh, our bottoms. Yes. Or trousers. And I also realized there's a little thermostat looking thing in the bottom right next to my radar map. Which I assume that means I have to be careful with the weather. Which that's that's not too bad though. That that makes it more realistic. It's not just like, oh you go to a cold place with no shirt on. You're you're immune to it. No, no, you get cold and you'll die. So they're making it almost kind of realistic. Just making sure there's nothing over here. And there's the the stamina meter that began my hate for this thing. Oh my god, I hate this meter. I, I need to make that thing huge. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Cool. You want me to just shove it in? Or oh. tap it. Okay. 
it's like an it's like one of those Apple cards put on your phone. You know, you don't have to pull out your card. Just get your phone that has like Apple Pay. Tap it. Just the feature, man. <laughs> but on this device, she can say confirmed. Oh, thank goodness, fresh air. Look at that. What a sight. Not Link, but this. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Sure. Wait, you want me to go now? Oh, wait, now. Ms. Zelda, wait. How are you talking to me? Hello? Are you psychic? If she can do this, what else can she do? Can she, like, help me out with all uh, my adventures? Because I assume there's some... There's going to be some moments where I'm going to need some assistance. I'll be like, Ms. Zelda, use your psychic abilities to pick up that giant crate. Which I clearly can't lift. Because it has been quite some minutes since I hit the gym. Oh, that's not the... Uh, hold on. B is to let go, X is to jump. Oh, this feels so weird. Y, X, B, A. This is definitely not the PlayStation controller anymore. Because we have shapes over there. Will you look at that? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The original Genshin Impact. <laughs> I'm joking. By that I meant like open world, running around free and stuff. So good. Ah yes, the old man. Sorry for making you wait for five long years. How you been? We're at the Great Plateau and I ain't talking about Pokemon. Look at that. I love this, man. Look at all this. Everything you see before you, I can walk. At least for a good chunk of it. And I did get spoiled a little bit, but I believe I can go to Ganondorf's castle. But that's the just the part of that information. Not, I haven't seen what it's inside the castle or the cutscene when you get to it. Right there. See right here? No spoilers. I only got all I got was the information that you can go there. That's about it. So I I can still get that um, you know that surprise. You guys are gonna get that sweet reaction once I get to see, uh, see the magic happen. But uh, yeah, this was nice. I can. This is one of these games I can play literally all day. But I decided to hold it off only for for streaming purposes. So I, as much as I want to do this off stream, nah, baby, streaming, streaming only, streaming only. So I must resist. My first weapon, it's a tree branch. Uh, well, you know, besides my fist, you know, those are my my uh, specialties. But this is my other weapon. Tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Yeah, if you're desperate. We can use a weapon by using the... What the hell is this? The Y button. Oh, and by the way, I'm not using the Joy-Cons. I'm currently using the Pro Controller like it, like it did back in those years. Because the Pro Controllers, I'm just so used to this whole claw hand motion. Like holding this controller, like uh, like the PlayStation controller, the Xbox controller. The Joy-Cons, no disrespect, but it just feels kind of weird. <laughs> but if I had to, I'll run it back um, uh, using the Joy-Cons. But for now, my Pro Controller is like fully juiced. Uh, also, technically, she's dead, but some, some, wait, somehow she reincarnates in the same world, says Joel. 500 years. Okay. Uh, no, uh, no spoilers, though. No spoilers. I'm trying to, I, I want to see all this for myself. A Highland Shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Alright, so we have three hearts. Now that it said that, give me that branch. We can also switch weapons by pressing the this touchpad and then switch with the right stick. Let's try that. Nice. With the quickness. And there's our first meal. Get back here, you bastard! Ah, give me your nuts! Give me them! 
I need to make coffee. What? Link. Yes, that's my name, Zelda. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. How do I do that? Oh, thank you, tutorial. I have to press the minus button, which is this one. Oh. This is going to be difficult. I don't exactly have much to look at, except these biddies. How do I... Open adventure log, sure. Uh, From out of nowhere, you hear a woman's voice speak to you. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on the Sheikah slate. The slate is both alien and somehow familiar to you. You find that you can access the map by pressing the minus button. Okay. Follow the Sheikah slate. New objective. Good to know. Let me get some of these match shrooms. Because apparently they heal me. I'm hoping my boy doesn't get a full stomach, because I'm about to stuff him with some mushrooms. Because in Genshin Impact, my characters can get too full really quick. So you can't spam them with healables in the middle of a boss fight, sadly. But with this one, I don't know if that's a thing. I'm hoping it's not. Like, he can eat as much as he wish. But so much to do. Oh my goodness. I remember some of the boss fights, which was the Ganon... Not the Ganondorf, but the... Those rock thing guys from Death Mountain and that giant chameleon, one of my personal favorite fights from those giant robotic titans. I'm, I'm hoping to run into that again. I'm, I'm, if I can choose whichever fight I want from those four beasts, I'm going with that one first. Everyone else is cool, but the, the chameleon speaks to me. It was amazing. It was, a, it was such a, a spectacular fight. Let me get some of these apples. Because eating mushroom gets a little boring. X. How oh, the frick do I press X? Oh, it's... Oh, hold on, Link. An apple, or in ReZero's world, an apple. A common fruit bound on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effects. It's extra delicious because you know there's no chemicals on this apple. Is 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 a genuine organic manzana. Which is, I believe, Spanish for apple, if I remember correctly. Nice. A baked apple. Uh, but without the, you know, grass, the, 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 the ganja, the, the devil's grass. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. Hmm. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. You know what? You're right, sir. I did took that apple without your permission. Actually, uh, I didn't even know it was yours, so until you told me. My bad, you want it back? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Thank God not, literally. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Goodbye? Who are you, stranger? Hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. He looks like Santa Claus. And the current look of the voice actor Yugi. What's his face? Dan Green, I believe. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright young man like you to a place like this? I answer a question with a question, yes. Where are we? <laughs> I hope this guy has patience. Answer a question with the question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. I play some Legend of Zelda. I heard of these Hyrule streets. How I know? I play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, my all-time personal favorite in the entire universe. And there's Majora's Mask, which I Never played it as much because I didn't have the um, the time because of school and life. But I, I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping I can play that again in this current moment in the future. But yeah, Majora's Mask, I'm going to complete it hopefully soon. Because uh, I, I play most of Ocarina of Time, which I love to death. But Majora's Mask, I need to get to the point A to the point Z. I want to know how it ends. But 
Spoilers, that's what's going to be in the future streams. Also, West Ham for fan. No, wait. West Ham fan. Hi. How's it going, West Ham? Wait. <laughs> West Ham fan. How's it going? I fuse your name with West and Ham to make Wham. Or was it? Anyways, hi. Um, Did I read that? I'll read it again in case I... No, I don't... Whatever. This is a great plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, wait. I did read that. Damn it, my short term memory. What? What is he? Oh. It's a church. Hmm. Oh, it's a temple. Okay, my bad. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. You know, for a hundred years ago, it's still holding out quite nicely, if you ask me. And it's not, you know, a bit of a quite a, a bit of a paint. Maybe some replacement of bricks and cylinders and stuff, and maybe some shingles, but... Yeah, I think we can fix it. I think. I, I might have to hire a professional, obviously. Yet another forgotten entity. A mere ghost of its former self. Yeah, so he you gave me all that cutscene and all that information just to be like, well, there it is. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to go to that temple. Also, you have two choices. You can reclaim all the divine beasts and weaken the final boss, or go directly and fight the stronger final boss in any order. I'm going with the first one. I'm going to get the pieces of the divine beast, and yeah, then the boss. I I do not stand a chance against Ganondorf because he is like I I've been found him in Breath of the Wild, but from experience of other games of Zelda, he's not exactly a cakewalk. So yeah. Also, I, just to see if there's any extra dialogue. Oh ho! What are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fire set, of course. Although I need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I never roasted an apple before in my life. I always eat them raw and sliced. So I'll put that on my to-do list when it comes to getting... If I'm ever near a cooking fire, whether inside or outside, and I just happen to have an apple, I'm just going to be like, bro, cook me this apple, bro. <laughs> I, I want to see things. Or actually, I want to taste things and see if it's good. Do you have not somewhere else to be, young one? Actually, can I leave you an apple? I did took your, I did took his baked apples. Let me see if I can drop him this. Select. Eat or hold. Let me hold this. How, okay, now the next step is how do I drop this? Oh, here it is. Put away with B, A to drop. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. I'll, you know what? I'll leave it there in case it doesn't go into the fire. There you go. Server even now. Enjoy your fresh new apple. Also, give me this. The torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you planning to use it? As a weapon, yes, you have caught me red-handed. I'm going to slay a thousand beasts with this unlit torch. To set things on fire, that sounds like a psychopath. Or do I play a bit, you know, secretive? It's a secret, my good sir. Uh, da, da, da. As a weapon, they sound both aggressive. This one sounds kind of like up to no good, but not as bad. I'm gonna I'm be, I'm gonna be a little goofy. It's a secret. I see. Well, do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead of here, though. Remember that you can use that as a weapon if need be. <laughs> However, do not just swing it around with purpose or without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. New move unlocked. Lock on with the L2. Alright, so let's keep that in mind. L2. It's also great for adjusting adjusting the screen, which is good. Oh, snap. My other weapon, the Woodcutter's Axe, is a tool of choice for 
felling trees, a formidable weight, and an uneven balance that makes it slow. Inefficient weapon. Bro, this thing has power. Also, you can throw stuff. Use the R1 to hold and throw. Let's try to practice. How do we... Alright, so L2, R1. And let's see if we can knock down this apple right here. Nice. It did not work. I think this thing's broken. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, how do we put this away? That's to swing. Oh, it's B. Okay, okay. Let me get this one apple. I actually, let me get this two apples. There we go. We're, on, we're going to an adventure, so we had to be pre we had to be prepared for everything. Food check, weapons check, um, fire to oh, I actually hold that thought. Hey, how you doing? You look like a hilly troll, buddy. You know what they are? It's it's a basically a hilly troll from Genshin Impact. Okay, okay, okay. He also has a stick. Frick, yes. Yeah, give me that. that. This is mine now, buddy. Bam! Now with the finisher. Lock on. Yeet. Your woodcutter axe is broken? Throw a weapon at enemy to perform a critical hit, dealing the twice the weapon damage. Right, I forgot this. My tools break. Ah, oh boy, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> no to self, have two of everything. The Bokoblin Bulko, horn, the severed horn of a Bokoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It, it, it is not edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. For a moment there, I thought I was going to say you can make soup with this, because there is no way amount of gold coin and ruby you can make me eat with that. Bokoblin fang, a tooth obtained from a Bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp. But it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Just like before. With the other item. In the piggy! Piggy, come back! You're my lunch! I'm a meat eater. I can't just survive on apples. Get back here, Pumba! Damn, why are you so fast? If your stomach wheel runs out, you'd be too tired to do certain actions until it fills up again. Alright, so apparently we need to upgrade our gear. Preferably like a... What do you call it? A bone arrow? Alright, so I haven't forgotten what the man, like the old man was showing me. It was like this temple, which I thought was a church. I think it's this one. Honestly, I can't wait to see my old buddies, the my um, Zelda pals in this world, and Miss, um, Miss Link, man. I wonder where she's been, man. Temple of Time. Oh my god, wait, the Temple of Time? You know, from Ocarina of Time? Sheesh, I thought this was a regular church. Or, I'm sorry, a regular temple. Oh, snap. Yeah. Now, this is something I don't miss. These things give me a hard time. They have, like, this stupid auto-target, like, their own version of it. And they always, like, try to, like, tear me to pieces. So, if I see this, I'm running the other way. Also, Nick, be careful with the Master Sword. And you got to love lasers. Lasers? Oh, boy. Yeah, these things produce lasers. And the Master Sword? Yes, I need to reunite with my weapon. Oh, hell no, buddy. Oh, no, I broke... I, I broke in my freaking stick a little bit. Let's, let's go with the second stick. Oh, give me that, Ashley. Hell yeah! This is mine now. The Boko Club... The power of two and four defense, I think? Or is that, or is that a different kind of power? Maybe that's like power if I throw it, right? Two for base attack, four for yeeting it. A crude buckle bling club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so durability is very low. I see. I love that the fact that it can pause, because I need that to, you know, adjust myself. All right, buddy. Let's carry this fight over here where there's like more space. No, you don't. Trash. Thank you for your horn. 
I don't know if we have like a limit of space for this sort of stuff, but on crossing fingers, we don't have a limit. Know what I mean? Oh my god. It's a vase. I must destroy the vase. Ah! It's it's like it's the meme of Zelda in case you didn't catch that. Or I'm sorry, Link. You know, vases. I must destroy everything. Also, what the hell did I did? How the frick did he whistle? Yeah, must clobber every vase that I see before me. But let me use the stick actually. Ah! Ah! Must destroy everything. I was so worth it, cause I found five arrows. A bundle of five common arrows. The shafts of these arrows were carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. Well, for my sake, it better not be the Deku tree, cause that is a sacred tree. Let's see. Thank Jesus, it's a traveler's bow. A small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a very far distance. And it's great for attacking pigs, so that's also good. So draw back with the R2 and then release it at the same time with R2. Lovely. And see, everything's going... Everything's working out. That was the down pad? That could be good for distraction. Now the question is, how do we... Never mind. It was actually L R2, R2, okay. So how do we un undo this? Okay. R2 to do this. Let go to, sw to to unleash the arrow. And then press B to undo it. See, I'm learning. I'm learning the ways of the Zelda. Now, how do we go back to... No, hold on, my good sir. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. But anywho, here we are. The Temple of Time. And... Uh, what exactly I'm looking for again? Also, the guardians, the original Gloom Hands. I don't know what that means. The guardians, the original Gloom Hands. If that's spoilers, I don't want to know. In case that's what it is. Pray. She looks like one of those... Those Russian doll things that you open one and then there's like a smaller version of her. Momosha dolls. Momosha dolls. Yeah. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Oh. Thanks. I appreciate that. Okay, old man. You said go here. Or not directly, but your your body gesture just kind of gave me the energy just to go here. Does that make sense? I thought there would be some sort of sword waiting for me of some kind. Perhaps it's upstairs, right? Let me look around. Is it on the roof? Oh, snap! There's a ladder! Okay. I see, you, old man. You sneaky old coot. Now we go up here. And it doesn't require stamina to climb stairs, which is a hallelujah. See, Genshin Impact, you have to use stamina to climb anything. So far, so good. Maybe the Master Sword is upstairs. Kind of a weird place to put it, though. Because if I had to put the sword anywhere in this temple, I'd probably put it, like, underneath the, the, the temple. You know? Like, in a secret compartment. Oh, here's a space. Uh, is there anything back here? No. Okay, I think it's this. Ah! It's awfully small to put in a sword, but okay. It's another bow! What's the difference? <laughs> oh wait, this is a soldier's bow. A bow designed for armed conflict inflicts more damage than a civilian bow, but it will still but it will still burn if it touches fire. Draw a bow, same shtick, switch weapons. Oh, I, hold on. How do we, uh... Up, 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 up. How do I... I'm, I'm trying to get my bow, but it doesn't work. Maybe it's like... Oh, okay, there we go. 
Yeah, there's see five power, fourteen power. All right, okay, 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 okay. I was just checking. No sword though, but we got ourselves a lovely um soldier bow, which means more power. But this is anticlimactic, old man. What was the purpose? Was there a the, you know what would be kind of insulting and funny at the same time? If he left a little note right here, a parchment paper that says, "Got him." <laughs> Gone good. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be like, oh man, I get it. You're old and all, but seriously, don't you think that's a bit immature? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's cool. It's cool. Maybe the Master Sword's in another castle. Get it? In case you missed it, it's a Mario joke. Oh boy. How do we go down from here? I don't exactly have the. What, do you, what is that thing called again? The glider? Nah, brother. I'm gonna get killed out here in these streets if I fall down like this. Also, I missed the stream. Where have you played the... Wait. Where do you play the the British game? Also, how's it going easy, Jinja? Good evening. Yes. I played it on the YouTubes. It's in the playlist in case you want to watch it. I watched like 40 minutes of the vlog, though. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Hopefully you enjoyed. In case you want to skip the gameplay, I, I have the I have the chapters because sometimes I have like these long beginnings of the intros. And for those who just want to go straight to the madness, I just put the chapters for y'all, which I totally get because even I am like, oh, my God, did I talk this much? So I just like, let me just do everybody a favor and just put a, a skip button like just go straight to the madness. So, yeah, I'll do the same thing for here. No, seriously, real talk. How? Oh, here we go. Whee! I'm like a fireman. Let me keep looking. Maybe it's around these, around the corner of the temple. But yeah, it was really fun playing the British game with zombies. Especially when the guy was talking. He, he's helping me out to survive the dead. And he has like this nice, genuine British accent. Which I assume he's actually a British person, which makes, which seems rather appropriate. And there she is, the Master Sword on a rock. Maybe that's what he was pointing at, not this. Well, actually, no, he was pointing at this, but maybe... I don't know. Whatever, I'm reading too much into it. Oh my god, it's cold. You trying to get the glider? I'm trying to get everything, bro. Let me get the Master Sword. X to jump. We definitely need to upgrade the stamina meter because this is a bit of a joke. Master sword? Nani? A rusty broadsword. Four six. This once, this once fearsome sword has been no, has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also break quickly. It was once fearsome. I don't. I don't think this is the real blade, is it? Because there's no way. It, I mean, it has the shape of it. But, what happened? <laughs> it's all rusty. I I'm gonna hold that off. Oh, it has more power compared to a stick, I think. There, now we have our, our weapon of choice. Next up is the location up ahead. X to dash, which is this way. So far, so good. My character's not freezing to death. But golly, bro, those clothes are too tight. Look at that. And short. We gotta give you some big boy pants. Imagine going to a, a really badass boss and they see me like this. I'll be like, is this a joke? Are you the appetizer to the... Um, are you the appetizer? Because I don't see the, the, the main course, which is the real hero. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get that drip, though. It's, it can't be that far, though, right? Let's see. What's over here? I know I said I was going to the, des the destination, but just two seconds. Two seconds. Nothing but disappointment and um, debris. Not rebel. Debris. Ugh. Oh, oh, actually, let's not do that. That's going to break my sword. That didn't work. I was hoping it would break. 
All right, back to the original schedule, which is to go to the glowing yellow spot. How do I speed dash? Oh, it's B. It's B. I love this, man. Look at this. Do you see what I'm looking at? That's not what I was talking about, but this. We can go everywhere by foot. Look at that. Some hilly trolls. No, I'm sorry. Goblins. Holy moly. I don't I don't know. Wait, is is Breath of the Wild the first open adventure game ever or or one of the, I I I don't I don't remember though. What, what was it? Let me think. Uh I I don't remember, but but it's just it's just so incredible. I can go there, bro. I can go on that mountain and walk there. It's not just like wallpaper, you know, like an invisible wall once I reach the end. No, I can go there. Everything I see before me, I can get to the tippy top. And I believe even that. But I'm going to require some protection, though, because I'm not exactly fireproof. Also, uh, did you sh just wait? Did you just hero shame Link? Despicable. Did I really? Oh wait! Oh, I, oh, okay. I think I know what you meant by that. Um, listen, listen, man. Link is not at his best. He's just waking up. He got some bad hair. He woke up with no clothes. He he got no his original um tunic, the regular tunic, the OG. Nah, bro. Right, right now, this is his Monday. No, not Monday, but um, this is his regular outfit. Listen, if we're gonna m make a name in these Zelda streets. And bring fear to the hearts of many bosses. We have to look the part. This looks like I'm about to go shopping. No, this looks like I'm about to go to the flea market to go shopping. Because <laughs> I'm on that discount, bro. I'm trying to save some of that cash. Imagine going on a date. I mean, actually, this makes... Actually, no, wait a minute. I mean, I can kind of go on a date like this. But maybe not my best foot forward. Nah, bro, I gotta get the good drip. I gotta look good in front of Zelda. She's I know where I don't know where she at right now, but I I gotta look good. I can't look bad, bro. She's gonna be like, damn, Link! 200 was it 200 years or 100 years? It's been a hundred years. And you look like that? You you wanna go out? Get out of here. I'm gonna go hang out with Ganondorf, bro. He got he got all kinds of um actually. I actually, I can't really compliment or insult him because I don't know what he looks like. I, I meant what I said. I try to avoid spoilers, but I assume, I assume he looks top notch, right? He got that evil cloak, that or I, you know what? Let me take it back. Like I said before, I don't know what he looks like. I assume he has something going on. I can't lose to Ganondorf, bro. I cannot get glizzy, not glizzy, but cocked by him. I gotta go to a shop, give them some rubies, fix up the hair hit the zelda gym or is it the <laughs> wait no never mind zelda doesn't have a gym i gotta get beefy bro i gotta look good i gotta play the part also what am i doing here what the hell is this it says go right here i i don't know what this is is breath of the wall the first open adventure game ever <laughs> Hey, Caleb, how's it going? Neku once again proving that he's dancing in the plant's core. I don't know about that, man. That's the, I don't know about that. Yeah, but welcome, man. It's not that first, but it's one of the more famous and popular open worlds besides Genshin Impact. And by the way, it definitely isn't the first, but it's definitely a game changer that was fashioned 100 years ago. Okay, 100, not 200, 100. I found it. It was not up here, it was down below. Let us proceed to our adventures. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestrial, peda pedestal, not pedestrial. Okay. My boy's like, what is this? The Sheikah Tower has been activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Falling for what now? Rocks? Oh. That's what they meant.
Damn, even nature can feel this one. Look at that. It's the Tower of the Seven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait, right. The others. It's not just the one. That is so cool, man. We got that technology in this game. You're a fine link. A rock didn't fell on top of you. The Great Plateau Tower. Fascinating. Distilling local information. Right. The water drop. That's some advanced tech right there. So. Ah! It's basically a map. Look at that. It's so gray and brown. Regional map extracted. Thank you, tower. Now I have all this knowledge. Wait, she's in the castle? You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <sighs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Please tell me that's not Ganon. Jesus, that's a lot of pressure, bro. I just woke up. <laughs> yep. Oh, before the world ends, right? Follow the Sheikah Slate. Complete main quest. Okay, so that answers my question. Zelda is in that castle, and I assume she's probably holding it down over there. Because the, the that curse mark looking thing is not flowing over here. It's like contained over there. It's just a theory, by the way. I'm not, I'm not really sure if that's legit, but like... Like, it's like that, but I assume it's probably that, right? Anyways, holy crap. How do we, um, how do we go down from here? Can I even mess with this? No, we can't mess with this. Oh, there goes our path down below. That sucks. Oh my god, I, if this was me in real life, I will, I will just cling onto this. Actually, no, I lied. I'll cling onto this. I, I can't do with heights, man. I'm actually that afraid of this. Jesus. Is this the out? Is it the way out? Climb. Oh, there we go. Nice. Hold on to dear life. Literally. Press B to let go. Well, not yet. Not yet. Let me just. Okay. How about now? Oh, beautiful. Also, first time I played this, I thought the Great Plateau was huge. But turns out it's actually quite small in comparison. Really? This is small? No way. No way. This... How do I bring out the map? That's not the map. How do I... The Great... Oh, wait. Oh, you mean this... Okay, okay. My brain was thinking the Great Plateau was like all of this. Like this whole region. Okay, so the Great Plateau is this little bitty right here, right? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. They, yeah, very, very. It's like regular small. River of the Dead. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Maybe once I get upgrades, then I'll go proceed into that location. Oh, God. Come on, Link. Oh, God, no! 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 Freaking jeez! <laughs> First death. Theft. First death in this game, bro. <sighs> Raz me up. <laughs> so, do we have to start over from the top? Can they just, like, pull me down? 
You know? Shortcut? No? Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. First one's... Come on. First one has to be on the house. You know, if I die in this game, first one's free. Now, if I die, it's, it's, it's a big... Uh, not a lol, an L. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Wait, ah. wait, 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 wait. What if we... How do we... Jeez, man. Why are we so up high? You guys have this fancy tech. You don't have, like, a staircase or a... Uh, an escalator, or is that no an elevator? Yeah, y'all need an elevator. Just freaking don't. <laughs> yes, yes, it's saving good because I, if if I do get killed, it'll be at least in this area. Rest rest in peace, lol. Yeah, not my best. Uh, oh, hello. Oh my God, it's Santa. Uh, actually, old man. My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and the others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not, uh, if you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I, I, I'm. If he asks me directly like that, I, I don't mind sharing that kind of information. He seems not sussy. I heard a voice. Well, no, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Uh, wait, no. Uh, that's a lie. I know that voice. It's clear. Actually, no. Okay, old me from the past playing it for the first time would have said no. But since I know it's Zelda, I gotta say dot dot dot, right? It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. No, you got it all wrong. I I kind of know who that voice is. Not that I don't trust you. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it fetches building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. See, I, my theory was correct. Zelda is holding that mother trucker in that little zone over there it will appear that moment is fast approaching oh. i must ask you courageous one do you intend to make your way to the castle i do <laughs> i had a feeling you would say that imagine if i said no <laughs> i did not anticipate that answer here on this isolated plateau. Oh, wait, I actually pause. Pause. Wait a minute. What the frick? I don't remember that. Wait, there's another lair? I'm I'm like there on the base of that tower. How, wait, 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 wait. How do we got there? This fe this feels like out of place. This feels like It's like somebody took a piece of land, lifted it up and placed it to another piece of land. I gotta, I, can I get some contacts, old man? How do we end up here? Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to jump, uh, uh, if you were to jump, or to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over, old man. Paraglider. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably go with this one. It's gonna be, it's, I don't know, it's a little funny. Um, also, the Great Plateau is the entire section of the map you have unlocked at the moment. Oh, so okay, not that little bitty, the whole enchilada, that the map piece. Are you sure that's small? That looks like a medium large. Well, I was gonna say pizza, but land. Also, wrong game. That's Tears of the Kingdom. 
Yeah. I oh how's it going, monkey? Uh, how you doing? How you doing? No, we're not playing Tears of the Kingdom. That's that's like once I finish this game in Age of Calamity, and then we will proceed to that, the Tears of the Kingdom. I'm surprised they didn't call it Zelda Breath of the Wild too, but that's just me though. Zelda's body, physical body is gone. Spoilers. Also, have you played Tears of the Kingdom? Should definitely finish this game before playing it. Oh, how's it going, Excalibur? Oh, uh, no, I have not. I've only played Breath of the Wild and never finished it. I did. I played a good chunk of this game, but never finished it. And that was five years ago. So if I don't remember some bits and pieces, well, now you know. So, so but I, if I may, do I play Breath of the Wild first, then Age of Calamity, and then Tears of the Kingdom? I, I want to play this in chronological order. What, what what's your thoughts thoughts everybody thoughts good bad perhaps this and then tears of the kingdom and then ancient calamity just just wondering <laughs> excuse me uh oh yeah again of course if you had a paraglider like mine that would be quite another story hand it over old man <laughs> oh ho, certainly why not but there's no such thing as a freedom in this world you know hmm. let's see now how about I trade for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The Isolate Plateau main quest. Which we can use the plus button. Which is that. Also, that's what it is. These are like the missions, right? Uh, the, 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 which one is it? Memories. It has a film roll, so I assume we can watch it again. That's cool. Uh... Got it. Come, let me show you something. Yes, let us go to your dark alley, my good sir. I think you said there was Wi-Fi and candy. I am most interested. <laughs> Just kidding. Kids, don't do that. If you're a kid, don't do that. Don't be stupid. Don't 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 toss to strangers. Especially in these squalid streets at night. Uh let's see. Old man, what exactly am I looking at? <laughs> is it juice? Is it the water? You want me to go for a swim? Is that what you want? Is that what you want, you bastard? You wanted me to go for a swim? Oh, that's I, I should have foreseen this. You just want to see my six pack. Or not six pack. What what what's six pack? Let me oh, hold on, let me double check. Let's let's see. Hold on. How do we take this off? Hold on. I have no six pack. Never mind, I stand corrected. He just want to see some skin. All right, how do we get this back on? No, but seriously, where do I have to go? He said I have to do a mission. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light. Oh, now he shows me. It begins glowing at the exact moment. Those towers rose up from the ground. Which he's referring to the towers, right? I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't it? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. I got you, I got you. Sounds like a fair deal. Let's go steal some treasure. How do we... Hold on, how do I run again? Oh, it's B. It's B, it's B. Okay. Got you. I don't... I don't remember how was it was it hard to do this mission? He says go inside and get the treasure, so this gotta be either a cakewalk or going through the most hardest challenge of my life. Also, Breath of the Well first, Age of Calamity. Uh is not canon, so it's option really. Oh, for real, it's not canon. What the frick? Well, in that case, I'll, I'll play in that order. I, I want to know what happened 100 years ago. And then uh, then eventually we'll go to, you know, Tears of the Kingdom. Ooh, so cold. Oh, my God. Also, where are the bananas? I don't have bananas, but I do have manzanas, which is apples. See? If I'm being real with you, I don't know if we have that in this world, but if I come across one, I'll be like, yo, monkey, we do have bananas over here. 
Also, who's ready for Banana Loving Ninjas? Wait, that's a game? Banana Loving Ninjas and Cross-Dressing. What are you talking about? Wait, are we still talking about Zelda? Also, uh, Caleb says, simply, I never finished games, Naku. I, I, no, I'm changing that title. Real talk. Look at Doom. I haven't played that game since 2022. Started in 2020, four years ago. And then I finished it in two streams. Now, here I am playing this game. And I haven't touched it five years ago. Now I'm fixing that. I'm, I, I'm going to finish it. It's just going to take me some time. But that's it, it's just, you know, a slow and steady pace. But we'll get there. Omen... Omano Shrine. Uh, Oman Omano Shrine. Cool. It almost sounds like Omo Omawamo Shindaru. Shikasi confirmed. What does that do? Treble Gi register to map. Access granted. Okay. Word. Ah. So, treasure, right? Get treasure, give it to the old man, get a glider, and then proceed forward. Now, where's my water? All this dialogue is making me thirsty. Hmm. The monk shrine? I guess. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omen Awu, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Magnesius Trial, Omen Awu Shrine. My favorites, whatever this is. I got two jumble doors. What am I supposed to do? Swing at it? Let me look around, there's gotta be something here. Ah! I found it. Sheikah Slate Authenticated Distilling Ruin. Omano Wo. Yeah, Omano Wo. <laughs> or is it Oh Man? You know, and then insert Usher's song. We have a magnet. We have actually three, six slots. And one of them is a magnet. Manipulate metallic objects using mag magnetism. Grab to grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnet's rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and move freely. Rune extracted. Basically new power. I'm basically Magneto as well. Use the L1 for the ruin. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, wow. Right. This. Okay. Okay. Now that looks familiar. X to activate. And then up and down to pull and push. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes, I found it. Also, the music. Classic. Do I have to lift up the other one, too? Look at the size of this chocolate door. Can I just drop this on somebody? Not on me, of course. I'm not that dumb. But what do we have here? We have water, which is really deep, actually. Let's get out of that one. And a little tunnel. Oh. Is it just this, though? Oh, there we go. We got another Rubik's Cube. Get over here. And let me unleash my inner magnetism. My inner magnet. Ah. Am I doing it? Okay, there we go. Nice. Yes. Power. No. Get over here. I should probably be careful. That could have landed on my head. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It's, it's a small version of that, you know... Giant spider looking thing of this. Freaking. Oh shoot. Swing. Death. Die. Yes. Oh god. 
Oh, that was a close one. Oh, I, that could have been the end of me. I got an ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery and it's made of an unknown material. No matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seems to show a sign of wear. That is some bleeding technology. Uh, a good thing I'm keeping it. Thank God I didn't say I can make a soup out of it, because that will be kind of weird. You're coming with me. This will be my... my shield. Interesting, interesting. Let me put this down for a sec. A guardian, thank you. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's a small version of the guardian. And it doesn't look like my plant's working. I can't get to the top of this. Sword's a bit... Oh, it's about to break, so I have to get ready to switch it. Uh, once, once I fight it, a creature, and it breaks, then I'll switch to something else. So, let's see. I, I got this. I'm not that dumb, guys. See? I use this as a platform. Okay, that was not on purpose. That was an honest-to-God accident. How do I... Yes, yes, good, 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 good. A bit, you know, cricket, but we can make it work. But I did notice this chest. Uh, how do one? How does one get that? Never mind. I have an idea. <laughs> now we just have to knock it down with absolute force. Yes. See, violence. Oh boy, that's. I don't know if that's gonna work. How do I. I'm thinking ahead. There, I can. Never mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix that later. Can I still open? Oh, nice. Because look how it is. It's sideways. I was afraid I wasn't able. I wasn't gonna able to open it because of, of this awkward position. Traveler's bow. I think this is the same one I have before. Cool. Now we just have to get to the tippy top. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We just got to speed dash this. Nope. Yes, yes, yes! No! Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, man. Third time's a charm. Everybody knows the rules. Third time's a charm. Hold on. Almost there. Just a little bit. Hold on. Yes. No! Dang it. Come to me. Yes, yes, that's it. Come on, gravity. You have one job. A little bit. It's, it's like right there. Yes. No, no, no. Damn it. Why is this so hard? Hold on, hold on. I got this. Use this to give it that nice tilt. And then, and then, and then. Grab this. Place her down. Like. Oh my god, this is like super hard. Yes! Good enough. Wait. That's. That's not accurate. Why is it cricket? Go, Link! Jump! Yes! Rocket signs out here. Now let us proceed with that treasure. Get on my way. A treasure is an old man. Or a mummy. I don't know. It's really ancient. Hello. This man needs to drink some water. And get a sandwich.
You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. That's a stone cold fact. Look, it took me forever to get here. I am Omen Au, the creator of this trial. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Link. I am a humble monk blessed with the sight of Goddess Helia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your revival, my duty is now fulfilled. So, does that mean you get to... In the name of the Goddess Helia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please upset this spirit orb. So, I think he's going to pass away, sadly. Wow. The spirit orb! A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenge of a shrine. May the goddess smell upon you. Thank you, my good sir. Rest in peace in the afterlife. And please go get something to eat. You're very skinny. Now this is awkward, because I'm supposed to give this to the old man, right? It's inside my soul now. Unless he has a tool, this is going to be rather difficult. Like, to strike the soul, not the soul, but the orb thingy. Hey! Old man. It seems he managed to get your hands on his spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Paraglider, please? Now, I actually want to know, how... What's good? Have you been stalking me? Hmm. Clairvoyance. Oho, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what's its right before one's its own eyes. However, that which one was hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you ca uh, you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Ooh. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it said. It is interesting, however, to think... How something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I'll give you my um, paraglider. You said get you this one in particular, bro. Now he's changing up the rules? That wasn't the deal! So I need more now? The first one. Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It is always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Got it? Are you joking? Yeah, dude, that's a lot of stairs. <laughs> oh ho. I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at that map on your Sheikah Slate. Ooh. See those blue icons? Uh, yeah, there's, there's three of them. You should recognize the cave where you woke the shrine you came from in the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Excuse me. <laughs> Awesome, great, thank you. Cause climbing upstairs, nope. I I don't like climbing. That's too much, bro. Thank God for technology. It really is like the travel, uh, not the travel, but the the Tower of the Seven. The towers that you can teleport and stuff. Or so I, or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. So, I'll test it out. Any more dialogue, sir? Try traveling to the top of the tower. From there, you should be able to scout the location of another shrine. You should know a lot. Oh, ho, when you have been around as long as I have, you pick up a thing or two. Go on, why not try it out? 
Alright, so... I believe it was the... this button. The tower. Zoom. This one is the Omoon Shrine. That's the Great Plateau Tower. That has to be it. And this is A for travel. Yes. Oh no! Oh my god, Mo! No, 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 no! Nah, I'm just joking. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> he turned into like blue noodles and just teleported upwards. Now. Oh, and there he is. Okay, that makes sense. Oh ho. Also, Monkey says, wait, Neku, you can get on top of it and use the magnets to fly with it. I really wish I read that. Wow. Okay, keep that in mind. That would have been so helpful. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? How did you? Yeah, you got wings back there? <laughs> oh ho, so you think an old man like me needs to fly, stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as an advantage point to search for shrines. Do you know the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Uh, no. Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you like to mark on the map. Now we have a new uh, tutorial. Use the stick and then press A for a pin. Ooh. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested. Yeah, I'm sorry if I keep asking. I, I'm just really curious. How do you know? <laughs> Oh ho! Just a few tricks I picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. It feels like you're like the first hero, and then I'm like the second hero because of all this knowledge. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Very well. It was the stick, and then A. It's not working, old man. Perhaps... Oh, that's not it. Map? Sheikah Slate data? Wait, the Sheikah Slate data has been damaged. Oh, that's good to know. But there's nothing much but this. Maybe I overlooked something. Zoom with the stick. Right. Wait, how do I do it again, old man? Uh, yes, actually, I have trouble finding the shrines. I just remember something that may help you. You can review some of the abilities you learn on the pause... <laughs> now he's breaking the fourth wall. On the pause screen. By pressing the plus symbol. Hmm. If you're searching for shrines, use the scope on your Sh Sheikah slate. Okay, so we have the basics, action, attack, jump. And, oh... Scope. I'm supposed to press it, not do this. Oh my god, there we go. I was I was about to explode. I was like, dude, what is going on? And now it think. I, oh wait, wait a minute. This is this is my controller. I'm moving it up and down. Okay, I I gotta stop him. That's making my head hurt a little bit. All right, just gotta freaking. I'm look. I'm literally spinning my chair for this one. All right, right there. A. Wow. All right. Let's mark another one. Actually, that's a tower, but that doesn't count. Let's see. Where the frick? Now you know. Screw it. Look, let me use my sticks. Let me use my sticks. Oh yeah, much better. Where's the shrine? Where's the shrine? Maybe I. Maybe I, maybe I should relocate. I, I can't see. This is too much. He is Santa. Rangers flew him up. I should have known he was the real deal. Okay, easy now. Easy now. Oh, I found one. You sneaky Pete. And it's blue. He said three of them things? Or was it two? Oh, here, here we go. Another one. That must be the last one. Nice. Oh my goodness, so now, how does one, uh... Wait, we, what if we teleport, right? What if we teleport? Much easier. Let's see. Zoom. 
Where's that Omen Shrine? Omen Shrine, Omen Shrine. Here. I'm too lazy. I don't feel like walking. <laughs> Let me just get there with ease. You know, it'd be kind of cool. Be like, hey, son, take my glider for, for two seconds, get down, and then give it back. And I'd be like, yes. And then run off with the glider. <laughs> Sorry, old man. I'm off to save the world. What? The oh, what the hell? What are these things? Oh, wait, these are the, the Hopkins, the, the goblin guys, but dead. Cool. A new challenge. Easy. Bumpkin's arm. A skeleton arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It's kind of gross to strap it onto your back, but it'll do it in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so quick to break. That's kind of... I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. That's somebody's arm. A spear used mainly by travelers to fend off wolves and other beasts. It's easy to hold and simple to use. What it sounds to me is it's sturdy. Right. You know what? Deuces. I'm off to go on an adventure, my good sirs. Now, the nearest shrine? Oh, I'm wrong one. Should be... Huh, wait, it doesn't show. Oh, a light. It's right here. Okay, this one right here. And... Okay, yellow. We're, the yellow one's right there. So let's go over there. There are three on the plateau. One of them you marked is off the plateau. Well, four, but you need to find three more on the plateau. And the ones marked is, is for the later game. Ah. Well, in that case, we'll just go for the ones that are close to us. The one that's far off, we'll just ignore it. I'll unpin it later. How's that? And, and maybe there might be another shrine around the corner, you know? So, no harm, no foul. Let me just get a good pacing going on, which is this way. But one thing for sure, I need to beef up Link, man. He has, like, look at the stamina meter. It's, it's a bit too slow. Now, where can a man get himself some Red Bull out here? Not for wings, just for energy. The game does have, like, things I can make into potions, right? Maybe I can make a speed stamina potion. Because I desperately need one. It should be this way. But not only that, there's also a tower, which makes it really good. So I can go to this location with ease. Ah, I found one. It's another shrine. Oh, lucky day. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have to go get a good angle. Elf, no, R3, R3. Crouching to increase your stealth, make it easier to sneak up on foes and animals. They didn't teach me in the tutorial. I accidentally clicked the wrong stick. It was actually the right stick. But it worked out. I got new info. Not trying to spoil, just wanted to save you a future headache. Lol. No, it's fine. You're good, man. You're good. Thank you for the, the for the lookout. This should be a tower, or not a tower, but a shrine right here. Come on, Mr. Link. We have to go be a hero for Ms. Zelda and, and everybody else. Oh boy. It's my favorite. These robots with aim assist. Yeah, we're not having in that. Only I can have aim assist. Save. Oh, frick. Another one. Go, Link. Go. Oh, God. Link, go. Oh, my God. Jalbaige Shrine? Is that French? Oh, frick. No worries. Don't panic. There we go. What, what is this? A bulk of shield. Thank you. Uh, I knew something was missing. A bulk of blend made shield created by attachments. A handhold to any flat tree bark picked up on off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. That's fine. It's a shield. I'm happy. Now, to do that, you have to press the L2 button and hold it. Oh, it's automatic. Excellent. Let's just get right into it. Before they try to, like, attack me all at once. Hmm. 
My second shrine. I wonder if I'll do better than the last one. Sorry, Scalies. I have somewhere to be. So, it reminds me of Ocarina of Time. During the night, these things come out of the ground, and during the day, they disappear. I wonder what other surprises have in stock. Whoa. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabaj, in the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. The bomb trial! Oh my days! Yes! Ah, it's not Zelda without bombs. Give me that power, please. Sheikah Slate Authenticated, Distilling the Ruin. Y'all might as well call me Megumin at this point. I'm just gonna make a big old explosion everywhere. Dun 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 dun. Oh, no dun 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 dun. Oh, so now we get two? How does that work? A bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube bombs, so use whichever best fits in the situation. That's kind of goofy. I need a square bomb? I, I well, Then again, I'm, I can kind of see its purpose. Because a round bomb would just roll over, and then a cube bomb can just be placed. Okay, never mind. Same for Terria. Yeah. <laughs> I love me some explosives. Uh, you have to press the up pad and the stick to switch. Ah. Remote bomb, bomb. Or actually, they both have remote bomb. Cool. And I see it's on my um left side. It's got the shape and everything. That's not my bomb. Is it... How do I... That's my shield. Oh, I found it. It was L1. Throw. Detonate. With the left stick. Oh no, L1, L1. Okay, very nice, very nice, very powerful. And that was... Okay, so it's not like you can spam it. You have to wait a, a bit of a moment. But that's cool. Very lovely. And we have a beautiful chest. Which contains... The Traveler's Claymore. And it looks sturdy, unlike the Rusty Sword. A basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. It is immense weight can knock enemies' shields right out of their hands. The inventory is full. Excuse me? What? Oh, snap. Okay, that is different. You can have my hand thing. How do I... Oh, no, 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 no. How do I... No, 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 no. Oh my god, there's so much... Nope. Oh, wait, yes! It's R1. It's still moving. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to trade that for a real sword. Oh, that's what they meant by two-handed. That... That looks like a problem. Yeah, if I ever fight goblins, I'm not taking this with me because I saw a goblin slayer. It did not end well with the guy in the... I think it was episode one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let me go use my club. And then my bombs. Oh, there's another one? The frick? Actually, I'll be back in, in a minute. Let me just go to the restroom real quick before my family takes, like, hogs the bathroom real quick, so... Uh, quick BRB.
All right, sir. Oh my goodness. All right, where were we? That's all oh, right, right, right. The explosions. Where is my bombs? Goodbye, wall. Farewell. Sorry, whoever put you here, but it has to be done. Oh, so that's now it works. I can't even hit it. Okay, so it's, it can't be destroyed. Okay, okay. It was worth a shot, though. It had a very, very odd design, so I thought it was like, yeah, I thought I'd use it. Now let's use another bomb and wait for it. It's all about patience. No, 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 not with me, not with me. Huge. So far, it's, it's a very nice, easy challenge. I, I appreciate that. Don't get me wrong, I like challenges, but I, I like they go easy, at least for now. Because, you know, we're just starting right now. The hard stuff, later. And it looks like there's a chest. Got it. Alright, give me in. Now push! Whee! Perfect. Oh snap! Amber, it fossilized resin with a caramelisque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. This is like Terraria. We have Amber in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. And it looks like I think I think we need this ball thing. I don't know. Call me crazy. Ow. It hit my toes. See? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Put you right there. Actually, that's a square. How do we, uh... Shield? Yes. Whoops. Heh. <laughs> And then once it gets pushed, we have to time this perfectly. And... Now! Oh, we have to throw another one. Alright. So yeah, once I blow up this rocks, I can toss in the little ball. Go, little one. Go! Huge. Wait, can I go with this thing? Right. I I think it's possible. Ah oh, shoot. Oh no 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 no. Did it went? Oh, I was trying to go with the ball, but uh, this works too. Now, what exactly do we have to do with this? Is this a sacrificial offering? What am I sup? Am I missing something? Oh, let me put this right here. I don't get it. <laughs> I have a ball. Where am I supposed to put this? Is there like a secret compartment or something? I'll, I'm gonna give it to the old man. Maybe he he's hungry for spears. Here, old man, are you hungry? I'll put it right here. There, I even parked it with my foot. What? For some reason, what? I can't even enter with this guy. All right, all right, all right, let me put this right here. Mr. What's-His-Face, are you there? Yep, he's there, all right. He says, Your resourceful- ugh, Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Thanks. I will humbly accept this power. Da -na -na -na. Yes, not Uno, Doz. May the goddess small upon you. Farewell.
I'll tell you what I told the other guy. Get something to eat. You're too skinny. Cool. There we go. This is this is too easy. Which I appreciate because again the puzzles I, I I like it easy right now, but if they want to go hard, uh it will suck, but I will endure. Let's put the bomb right here. And then blow her up. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, Link, are you okay? Jesus, that was not part of the plan. Honestly. Alright, let me heal him up. This is a good time to eat uh, our first food. So let's eat a warm apple. That's it? Okay, half a mushroom. No, mushroom gives me half health. This gives me half. Okay, I we need more food. Wow. Also, you can't blow yourself up. Ragdoll and get launched by those pushy piston things. Lol, I did it by accident in the time I played. Wow, for real? Oh my goodness. Wait, can I ask you something? Do you know what I'm supposed to do with that ball? Did that ball have a purpose? Because I was just like... I was like... It felt like it had to go somewhere. But I didn't find it. I found nothing. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll look it up on the... Once I beat the game, I'll just be like, okay. What was the purpose of this? <laughs> was there a secret compartment behind the old man or something? His secret treasure? You know? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, no, no. I just recovered. I just recovered. Shoot. No, we're not having that. All right, so the next shrine is right here, which I discovered by accident, as a matter of fact. So, now that we have the power of magnets and bombs, I think we might be able to solve whatever puzzle they have. If, if they require these two particular items. It looks like it's a bit tad high, if I'm being frank. But not impossible. So... We have to go here and then there. Because I don't have the stamina for that. So let's go to the temple. And up that hill. Also, I think it was demonstrated like you substitute the ore for bombs. Ah. A demonstration. Okay. Oh, oh actually, I can see that. I can see that. And here I thought there was something more. I guess that makes sense because if you're if you're if anybody playing this game for the first time or coming back, they'll be like, "What is this again?" And then the ball's like, "Oh, you want me to put my bomb, the circle one, in there to go to the other side?" Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely see that. Taking a shortcut. It should be this way. Oh, that's a squirrel. Oh, snap. My first kill. Like, animals. It is... Wait, what? I get an acorn? Where's the meat? Often found on the grass... Oh, uh, sorry. Often found on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. I went to the meal for a nutty seasoning. Okay, so we get no meat in this game. I, it, was there a patch? Because it was too violent for the players? Maybe there was like... People who love animals way too much are like, Nah, bro, we can't kill squirrels and get their meat. If you kill a squirrel, at least give us something else. Like an acorn or something. The temperature's getting dangerously low. Find warm sooner. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, that is a problem. However, I do have this. And out near there's a fire right up ahead, so we can we can do this. See? Two steps ahead. Oh snap, but they got numbers though. I got aim assist. Oh critical hit. Punk. Ho. Oh, I ran out of um not lead, but arrows. Ah! 
You're handicapped now. And you're broken. And actually, I'm sorry, I destroyed you. Buckle blend horns, buckle bin fangs, and a buckle spear. Nice. A spear hazily carved from a large tree branch. It looks like its original intent was for skewering meat and cooking it, but does have some combat merit as well. Multi purpose. I can get behind that. But I do have a little bit of no space. Let's get rid of this. And a pot lid. The lid of a large soup pot. It smells vaguely of poultry broth. Yummers. It can take quite a beating before breaking. Press and hold and switch. But it didn't it didn't complain that I had too much stuff, so maybe shields is a separate like space storage. Cool. Buckle horns. Mushrooms. Thank you. Holland seems to be very specific. And some sort of what is that? Strawberry? A spicy pepper! Yes! See, listen. I love food. Food is food is delicious, but if you got no spice, you're missing out. Trust me, Marucha ramen noodles, whatever flavor you want. Add some lime juice and some hot sauce. Mix her up. Give it about a few seconds just to let the flavors like mix in in there. Damn, that is some good meal, man. If you're on a budget, it's, I tell you some good stuff. But you gotta go easy though on the marucha though, because of the sodium. But you know, every now and then. Marucha. Mm -mm -mm. Hashtag not sponsored. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you under, under <laughs> and help you understand the cold. No, help you withstand the cold. Well, just what we needed, basically. Thank you. Yes. Now, how do we cook in this game? Search. Oh my god, that is a beautiful piece of what is that? Filet mignon? So good. Seared steak. Raw meat. Cook over an open flame. Cooking has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Sits with A. You can pass time by the fire. Oh, we can do that? Morning, noon, and night. Uh, no, 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 no. no. We're, we're good. I, I like the, the vibe right now. It's like... It looks like it's about to snow. So... Let's use this. Now we can proceed. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me chill. What is this? How do we... It's a pot. <laughs> okay, okay, we're about to cook. I'm about to unleash my inner Gordon Ramsay and cook a nice meal. Hopefully it doesn't end up raw. Sit by the fire. No, 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 no. I want to cook. Let him cook. Like the meme. I said, let him cook. Sits. I guess not. What if it's the... Yeah, what if we do this? Uh, apple. Hold. <gasps> ah! I had a feeling. You need a cooking pot. Indeed. Where the hell did that came from? I got some oil and stuff and everything. <gasps> Simmered fruit for one whole heart. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Check a meal's ingredients by selecting it from your inventory and then selecting recipe. Alright, so chili. Recipe. Where's the sort? Hold. That's about it. Alright, let me hold the chili. What does that do for me? Do I get to make some hot sauce out here? Game says... <gasps> spicy saute peppers grants low-level cold resistance. The spiciness of these saute peppers has been broken by the heat for a sweeter taste. So, almost three minutes. Good, because it, it says it keeps us warm, which is cold around the corner. Now, let's get a little crazy out here. Let's have a little bit of pepper with some mint. How do we, uh, how do we... Nani? Oh, there we go. Oh, we can't. We can only eat. Very well. Peppers. And an apple. No, mushroom. Yes, that makes sense. What can we make with this? 
and we have ourselves some spicy fruit. Three minutes and mushroom mix. This dish contrasts the sweetness of fruits with the savoriness of mushrooms, and it gives me two hearts. Now, it says we can also cook electrics if I'm not mistaken. So here's a weird trinket, and this thing. I don't think that works. That's for food. That's for something else. Okay, let's see what we can make with this. Oh boy. Oh god, what is that noise? <laughs> oh no. It's so bad they had to censor it. The dubious food. One heart. It is too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you though. Probably. Which is it? Is it going to hurt me or is it not going to hurt me? I'm going for the latter on this one. So. That is crazy. It looks like. Alien snot covered in purple play-doh and some yellow Jolly Ranchers on the side with the bone sticking out. Let me cook one more thing because we are going in the cold, right? So let's get a little prepared. And life's giving me more spicy saute. But as well, let me get some heat. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what is this? No, 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 no. Link, stop. Oh, wow. Hold Y for a very mean swing. Good to know. I just meant to do that. Alright, let's see. As long as I don't put this away, we're, we're just dandy. I say that to put it away. No, I didn't. Oh, frick. There, okay. Let's try... X. That's jumping. I okay. I was gonna. I was gonna make him run, but screw it. Also, more chilies. Please let me get these chilies. No! No! Give me my chilies! Oh my god! There we go. Okay, I have l destroyed this spot for more chilies. Honest to god, accident. And there it is. But it's around. The corner, and there's ice cold water. Oh, hold on. How do we yell? Uh... It is lit. How do we go across? Oh, wait. I mean, oh, yeah, there's that. However, there's this. Let me get in there just a little bit. No! Oh, yeah. My bad, Link. That was really stupid. Here, let me treat you with some food. Uh, actually, let me try that spicy food, to be exact. There. Not bad. Let me get the full heart, actually. Okay, well, now we're good. So we got about less than two minutes to figure something out. So the shrine is that way, but I have no way across. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this way. But I still have no way across. Let's keep looking. Found sticks. Birds. Oh, there it is. I found something. I have a lead. I have to go across. And a lovely... Oh, what the frick? Nope. You can stay the hell away from me. She's... I'm literally right there. I still got like less than a minute and 39. But, oh, come on. Go somewhere else. Oh boy, oh no, it's these things. What do you, what do you call it? The, the guardians of not the galaxy. They're not, they're not moving so blessed. Oh, wait a minute, don't tell me. Oh, wrong one. How do I... Yes. Yes! My chocolate metal door. Place her right here. Good enough, just... Frick. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. Anything else? Oh, there's another fire source. Okay, good to know. 
less than 60 seconds to hurry the hell up. Those are really good-ass chilies. But I need to find something else to keep me warm. Hopefully some booties. Should be up here. Because there's like a glowing red marker right on my left. Saving. Good, good. So once I get to the point of freezing, once it drops to zero, I'll just pop another chili. Or perhaps we can take a shortcut. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Genshin Epic has been, has been helping me for moments like this. Oh, God. No! Wait! Oh, 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 no, Link! Oh, frick. Kel Namut Shrine? Okay we're, okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. Cool, 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 cool. But he is freaking loses some HP. Alright. Hold on, Link. I got you. Eat some of this chili. See? Smooth. But damn, it took half my heart, though. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, my God. That almost hit me. Are you the... Oh my, oh wait, hold on, hold on. This requires pain for these chumps. How do I eat? Nice. It was not lethal, sadly. Give me your steak. And also, you know what? Screw it. I'm out. I'm out. I only got less than two minutes. This fight could take about half of that. Yes, yes, I made it to the shrine. The tone's behind you. You want you want to get the peak of the other mountain as well. It's worth it. Let's see. Did I do I have the tower? It's, I'm just trying to process all this. It's cool. I stopped like a minute and forty. There's another one right here. Not a shrine, but you know, a regular tower. Oh, and there's a shrine right there. Nice. Yes. Sneaky. In case the old man's like, okay, so the thing what I said about I need three more, I lied, I need nine. And then I'll be complaining, but at least I'll have one spot available to, like, go to. Now let's proceed to this shrine. It said something, I forgot what it was called. Mount Elvers Shrine. Super Cooper Duper Cold Shrine. Nico, I'm going to get something to eat. Should I get Jamaican food or should I get grots? Or Chinese? Uh, I don't know what grot is. Is that good? Uh, Chinese food. That's... Oh, I, 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 I never had Jamaican food. So if you give me those three options, I'll go with Chinese food. I'll go for that beef lo mein with broccoli and some... Oh, to you who sets foot in this shrine. I am Ket Namuts. In the name of the goddess Celia, I offer this trial. Crinosis Troll Ke Namut Shrine. Yes. But like I was saying, I will get some beef lo mein with some generous sold chicken and some what with, with egg rolls. I don't eat them as much, but I kinda wanna get into it more. Uh, not get into it more, but what I'm trying to say is when I watch TikTok, you know, watching food um short videos. They have all these amazing individuals just showing how they make the food before and after. And when I see these egg rolls, they, they stuff them silly and it's delicious. And I swear, I'm not joking. There's one where they stuff it with pizza sauce. So it's basically basically a pizza, but an egg roll. It's like Asian American. So good. So yeah, when I go to Chinese food, I, I want to try some egg rolls. And I'm hoping to have some American because I, you know, who who doesn't want to have a Chinese American pizza, <laughs> but an, an an egg roll, you know what I mean? But also, we have created a wait, no, it's it's called Crinosis, which creates a pillar of ice from a water surface, builds an ice pillar that is very stable. These pillars can be used as a stepping stone or as obstacles. Use Crinosis on an ice pillar to break it. See, that would have been useful. When I found that one boat, because I, I was trying to figure out how to get across. But at least we have it now, right? So what are we working with? Bars, water, that. Alright, so let's see. 
<laughs> there. Nice. Freeze. Look at that. I'm basically the avatar. I'm manipulating water and magnets. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. Something was missing. That that noise. Uh, also, checkers. Grotz is fried pork chunks. Ah. Oh. I never had that before. I had pork chops. Is fried pork chunks good? Grotz. Let's try this. Genius! Absolutely brilliant! But this also said I can break it. Or shatter. Oh, what the frick? Oh my god. Freeze! It can't get me. It can't hurt me up here. I am so safe. Hey! Asshole! Oh, it can't get me, right? Oh, whew. Let me let me see what I'm what I can use against this thing. Um, Claymore, nah. I'm gonna save that for the real challenge. Let's use a vocal club. Oh, I lied. It can't get me from here. Okay, you're so dead. Oh no 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 no. Club 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 club. Oh shoot. Yeet. A dodge. This thing can learn. Okay, screw it. Caveman style. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I used the shield wrong. It's supposed to be like this. I used it like this. Yeah, I could have lost half my back. But thankfully, it didn't come to that. So, yes, note to self. Going up there does not keep me safe from that creature. It can still screw me over. Also, jump attack. Okay. Uh... Gotcha. All right. It's, uh, yeah. I really should practice with my physical attacks, honestly. But thank you, thank you, Easy Ginger. If I see another one, I'll try to swing it from above. <gasps> ah! Aha! You sneaky. Trying to keep away from me from this lovely chest? I think not. That was an accident. How do we, um... That's for that. Okay. So, do we get another... Oh! It's a Traveler Spear. It's a spear used mainly by tra travelers to fend off wolves and other beasts. Easy to hold and simple to use. Inventory is full. Hold on, hold on. That's, that's a good old spear. I'll give up my regular stick. Because this thing says there's wolves and other beasts. I need all the power I can get. Like, like good tools. So much appreciate. Now, where else do we must go? No chest this way. No chest that way. Oh, wait, there's the old man. Okay. Oh, my God. This is so easy. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. What's out? Wait up. Ow. What's over here? Oh wait, that's where I'm, that's where I spawned in. Okay, okay. I was about to say so I I saw something sussy. I was like, maybe I should peek first, because I'm not sure if I can go back to this place again. Mm, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Hey, how's it going, old man? Are you guys triplets? Because y'all look the same. Joseph, I'm in the mood for checkers, and also I'm in the mood for oxtail. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this child speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of God, Goddess Helia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Please give me the power of the Versangon. Yeah. Interesting. Why don't you just get both? I did something like that back in the day. I got so hungry, I got Chinese food and pizza at the same time. The the way how I got to that is because they were like really close to each other the building so I was like you know I can have pizza for dinner and have breakfast for Chinese food <laughs> oh man this was before the inflation so the prices were I mean it's still expensive but not like super expensive 
I got the pepperoni large, and I got the beef lo mein with broccoli. And the free lo mein on the side. But you have to get a certain amount of food for it to come to that. But, yeah. The Great Plateau. And I'm freezing. Oh, no. But we got what we wanted, so we can dip. We can use the teleportation jutsu. Yeah, let me do that right now. D damn, bro, look at him. He's shaking. Like a freaking leaf. I got you, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me get you out of here. So we're currently here. Oh, there's the River of the Dead. Oh, can't wait to go there. Not right now, because I'm cold. Where? Okay, so this is a shrine, if I'm not mistaken. And the one we finished doing... It, okay, so the pink came off. That's good, because we don't want to retrace our steps. Like, by accident. Let's see. Da, 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 da. What's this? Shrine of Resurrection. That... What is that one again? Uh, let's go there. Let's go there. Oh no, not again! My body has been turned into blue neutrals again. Go to the top of the tall mount. It it's worth it. Wait, go to the top of the. What? <laughs> Wait, actually, hold on. Let me, let me cook. Let me cook real quick. Let me make some chilies. If it's like in a cold region. Let me do that first. Oh, the resurrection place. You mean where I spawn in the game? Oh, we can go here. That's kind of gnarly. Oh, my sweet old home. It's a shame I have to leave it again once, uh, once again. All right, there should be a cooking pot around here somewhere. Ah, yes. It's like I never left. Saving, thank you. Ooh, look, I, how do I miss that? Oh, left. It's another Highland Mushroom. I, I love the whole cooking feature. It's so amazing. If only I, I can bring the writing Shogun with me, because she can't cook. It's basically a meme. Everyone can cook in Genshin Impact. Except her. And there was this one guy, I don't know who, who did this amazing art. It was Gordon Ramsay yelling at her on the, on, I think it was on the left side. And she was trying to cook, but the, the food was looking terrible. And she was panicking. He's like, you idiot, it's raw. Oh my god, that was absolutely pristine, hilarious, meme worthy. I, I swear, man, we, we got a bunch of smarty pants in this world making some kick-ass art. Oh, he's sleeping. Old man, wake up. Hmm, what is that? It seems there is no rest for this old and weary. What are you doing? I was just feeling a chill. A warm fire can do wonders for a weary soul. A campfire is a wonderful place to pass the time. Staring into these flames is easy to lose track of the hours, but blah, please ignore my ramblings. Feel free to relax here for as long as you like. Well... I like the offer, but I'm here to take your old flame. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not meant to do that. Wow, that I am sorry. I I just need fire. <laughs> there should be maybe a pot here somewhere. I just gave that man like a scary heart attack. Like, hey, come in, bro. Enjoy the heat. Get warm and comfy. And then, bam! What the hell? I'm I'm trying to be like. Uh, be a good host and... Oh, frick. Damn it. Okay, might as well go forward. There's, there, there'll be another f source of flames, right? And there's a weird jelly-looking thing. Also, flip a coin. I narrow it down to Grot and Oxtail. Neko, which you prefer? I never had Grot. I never had Oxtail, but I've heard great things about it. Yeah, you can do what Ginger says. Just flip a coin, dude. Or or just go whatever you're feeling in the mood for. Like, what, what should you create between those two? Ooh, a piggy. Well, that was short-lived. I would have had some pork chops. But I have found a fire, so I can cook my chilies, and then I can go to the top of the mountain. However... There's an old man here? How did he... 
He's he's that good. Oh man, what is this power you possess of teleportation? I wish to possess it myself. There we go, nice and gentle. I don't want to give this man another heart attack. All right, like I said, chilies. How, how does this work? Can we put like more than one? Do we get like two dishes or just the one? And game says, oh, you get one item, but it's five minutes with two hearts. Okay, all right. Let me have a little fun out here. Let's. I don't. Let's have a chili. But with an, with the, wait, do we have that already? Hold on, hold on, sir. Put that back in your pocket. We have chilies. We have spicy fruit with mushrooms. Simmer fruit. How about spicy fruit without the mushroom? I want to go full crazy with this. The game says we have cooked up a a spicy sir okay so it's basically what we have already but just spicy i flipped a coin it's oxtail oh and there's also a pie in some ruins in the woods oh for real oh snap all right no to self there's more pots in the woods let me ask him if he's okay how you doing could you not see i was sleeping what are you doing here? If I can't hunt, what else is there to do but sleep? Sitting by a warm campfire is the best way to pass the time. Say, courageous one, are you hungry? If so, please feel free to use my cooking pot to whip up a snack. If you need to start fire, just light your torch on the campfire over there. Got any tips? Simply open your inventory. <laughs> here we go, breaking the fourth wall. Simply open your inventory, grab hold of your ingredients, and just toss them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. If you play your cards right, you may even end up with a dish that can help protect you from extreme cold. Hint. It's all about being creative and trying different things. Oh, uh -huh. Well, when he said it like that, there was a piggy. Maybe I could cook up the piggy with my spicy chili. You know, some spicy steak. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Got him. Frick yeah. First try, baby. Raw meat. Meat obtained from animals in plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. And you won't get sick. Which I very much want not to do. Oh no, if oh no, I've been compromised. Well, there goes my meat. Now let's have some fun with this. Spicy steak coming right up. Actually, hold that thought. I am sorry, bird. Give me some of that chicken wings. Yummers. Dude, this looks like the wings from Genshin Impact. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the raw bird drumstick. This meat is tougher and chewier than standard steak. Tastes better than cooked. Oh, uh, when cooked, when cooked. Very well. Let's have some spicy chicken wings. And some spicy steak. Now, if we can just cook some... Oh, wait, this is, wait, that's different. Oh, snap, that music was hitting a little different. Spicy pepper steak. I don't know how you got that from chicken, though. Grant's low special... No, Grant's low level cold resistance. The meat has been cooked in crushed peppers to... Accent its natural taste. Fascinating. Peppers and bird legs make steak. What happens if I, if I make steak with chili? Let's see. Music. Nice. Similar. Wait, what? Spicy pepper steak? Still? How does that work? Oh, wait, no, actually, that makes sense. Sp uh, yeah, spicy pepper steak, yeah. But with the chicken, how did we end up with the same product? Y'all lazy, bro. What the hell is this? Hold on, let me try something crazy. Let's try a drummy with some mushrooms and get right to it. Oh, there's no funny music. There we go. 
meets and mushroom screen. Bro, this is like Genshin Impact. We have that over there too. Yeah, it's it's um you need mushroom and chicken. That's how you make this. <laughs> wait. Oh wait, Breath of the World came before Genshin Lol. Alright, you're so right. That is so true. This game came out what what 2017? 2018 Genshin 2020. Okay, yeah. Oh right. Okay. Right. I made it sound like Genshin. <laughs> yeah, Genshin's like, no, 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 no. They did it first, bro. Not Gen okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's try one thing. Steak with the acorn, because it says it gives it a nutty flavor. Perhaps like a salt and pepper steak. Meat skewers, a juicy filling snack made by grilling small chunks of meat on a skewer. Now, see, that looks really good. I will add some bell pepper, some raw onions, and Monterey, Monterey steak seasoning. Half of that with that seasoning, and the other half with sazon, with some lime juice, bro. Mm -hmm. Give me some tortillas, bro. First, you, once it's fully cooked, all the ingredients, right? Get a tortilla. Nice and nice and quickly perf to perfection. Get the skewer steak, put on the tortilla, and then and then grip it, grip the meat, and then pull back the the steak so you can just have the ingredients. You don't have to eat the steak because you it's stupid. But yeah, and then just hot sauce, some lime juice, and some little bit of pepper. Oh my god, and some Coca Cola. Mm, I'm making myself hungry. Oh my god, I, I need to go find some steak that is reasonable price and some sticks in a nice charcoal grill to get that nice smoky flavor. Or charcoal grill flavor, you know what I mean. Yummers. Okay, so we have food. You said go to the highest mountain. Let's go to the highest mountain, which I think is this one? That, that's the closest one we got to the highest mountain. It's awfully cold. It's basically nut me. <laughs> I I didn't see that in the description, but I uh, yes, I did use an acorn. <laughs> oh man, imagine making coffee with just acorns. Oh boy, I'm gonna be a billionaire. I'll sell acorn coffee to all of Hyrule. We'll call it something that rhymes with Starbucks. Now let's give my boy some warmth. Let's give you some chili. Alright, so you said go to the highest mountain. That's a mountain. It looks pretty high, right? Right? That's a tower. Oh, that, that could be what you're looking... What we were talking about, right? Hmm. Or perhaps that one. Let's go this one. It's the closest one. Nice and easy. But seriously, dude. Oh my goodness. That's almost like a great ow. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, don't get hit by that. But yeah, a nice dinner. A skewered meat. Slash tacos. Oh my goodness. I can go for some of that. Fresh green salsa and red salsa. And pick up the gallo. Dude, and, and, and a good show. I will I will like to watch some bad like good bad films. Like Resident Evil, it's like not that good, but it, it it's it's pretty solid. It's like a happy medium for me, and I will I will have that with my tacos. I'll watch some that awesome actress. Um, what's her name again? Mila Jovic, Mila Jovic, the the woman that plays Alice and her friends surviving trying to destroy the T virus while eating tacos. Green salsa. It's basically spicy salsa. What's green salsa? Basically, it's like Mexican hot sauce. No, actually, it's more like... How do I put this? It's basically a bowl of green spicy sauce. Here, let me let me Google this real quick so I can show you. Maybe it'll bring some bells. Green salsa. Or salsa verde. That's what one would call it. Here. I don't know if they have it where y'all from. Display capture. Or actually, no, it's Windows capture, not display capture. Hold on. Now, this is going to make me really hungry. Basically, this. 
This is Salsa Verde. You use um, green tomatillos to make this. And then you can have it with chips, tacos, like as a topping. It's so good. It Okay, maybe it doesn't look pleasant right now, but once you try it with some food together, it's, it's a slap. But yeah, look at that. Yummers. That's, see, that's a chunky green salsa. This one's more like liquidy. But this one, in case you want to really get in there with the with the sauce, with some lime juice and some cilantro. I usually have it with tacos. I don't really have it with chips, but if I ever have chips, I'll definitely get in there. Use even the recipe for it. One and one four pound of tomatoes, two poblano peppers, one jalapeno peppers, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, a large one white onion, but half of it. Uh, but yeah, so yummy. I gotta turn away. I'm getting really hungry. They also sell it in a bottle. Salsa Verde. Uh, but I prefer to have it fresh. You know? Not bottled. Because you can actually taste the difference. But, yeah. Hopefully that can... um, Yeah, hopefully that shows you what it is. No, I know what salsa is, but I never heard of green salsa. It's like salsa with jalapenos. Yeah. With different kind of tomatoes, which are green ones, instead of the red tomatoes. And some cilantro and some onions. It tastes really good if you grill it on a hot fire. You can boil the, the ingredients and then blend them. Or you can use a... You can grill them over a char grill and then just get extra flavor and smokiness. You can... You don't have to use a blender. You can also use a, one of those Mexican um, mocajetas thingies. It's like... A, it's like a like that cooking pot where we cook our food. It looks kind of similar, but you put the ingredients inside this little well and get this little. Here, let me let me. Oh god, give me a minute. Let me Google this real quick. I am terrible at describing things. Let's see. Uh, moco. I think that's how you sell it. Oh, there we go. Mocajete. 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 Here, found it. First try. Display capture. Oh, I can't even see this. There, this is it. It 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 looks like see it like a cooking pot. You put your ingredients inside, right? And oh, oh let's take my idea, right? You cook the ingredients to make green salsa off the grill. The onions, the tomatoes, the the jalapenos. You put it in here. You use this stone piece, and you grind it down like this, and you make the salsa. It's it's kind of messy, but it's really good. This is like kind of like the end product. It's it's so good. See, you can use this or a blender. You can also be creative by doing stuff like this by putting food inside. See, we got some shrimp. I think that's steak, jalapeno. Oh God, he's freezing. I am so sorry, Link. Holy shit! Hold on, let me keep you warm. Eat this. I forgot to pause that. <laughs> But yeah, does that help? See? Here's the salsa ingredients. Actually, no, this is something else. This is like, what? Oh, right, I forgot about the garlic. You have to have garlic in there. But anyways, yeah, there's their um, Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, I forgot about Link. He's in the mountains. He's freezing to draft out here in these streets. Let me just do this. All right, cool. As we were. I forgot you're dying. Your timer. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I give him the big piece of uh, food. So he should be warm. Uh, I think this was the mountain I was trying to go to the tippy top, right? Yeah. Oh, hey! How's it going, old man? Uh, enjoy gazing out the world from here. Breathtaking view. He's like freezing. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Wasn't that welcome, Molly? I think you're, yeah, I think you're right. It had some avocado, so yeah. Uh, use your skill to look for shrines when you locate one. Place a pin on your map as a marker. You did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. A warm doublet. I thought this was a dish. A warm pullover, typically worn by mountain folk. It is sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great for great at retaining body heat. You are so right. I sh I'm glad I decided to do this. I got warm clothes. 
Hmm. I assume you want to try it on right away, yes? I thought you might be eager to see how it looks. It's quite fetching. Well, I suppose it matters not. It is yours now. Do take care to put it on before you get too cold, though. Well, thank you. I still got, like, seven minutes of warmth, so, you know. Oh, ho. Have you found the remaining shrines? Oh, fantastic. Just one more so you can have my glider. I was just making sure. Uh, okay, one more. Very well, man. You better keep to your promise. Also, search. I found another amber. Very odd-looking stone pieces. All right, so we were there. There's a bird. Cool. Where is the next shran? Maybe I can go on top of this for the giggles. Now, there's a tower, shrine, shrine. There's a shrine. Got it. Got it. Got it. Tower. Got it. Shrine. Wait, wasn't there a shrine down below? Squeeze me. Oh, no! Oh, shoot. Wow. Honest to God accident. And also, why is that a circle? That seems rather suspicious. I should probably investigate this. Ah, the, a missing stone. I wonder if this is a clue. I don't exactly have a rock on me. Oh, wait. I lied. I have a rock on me right now. Jesus, look at that. Look at that form. He picked it up like it was a piece of paper. Let me see if, if my crazy theory is correct. What if we place it here and something happens? Oh my god, I was right. What the hell are you? Korok? Ya ha ha, you found me. I didn't know I was looking for you. Also, Nico, I got scared for a second. My card sip wasn't reading. Your Wait, your card sip? The what? Your card sip? Oh, oh, bro! Come on, man! Don't you have cash on the side? You gotta be prepared. You gotta be prepared for anything. I always carry cash, my debit, my credit card as a last resort. I hardly ever use it, like for you know, just spending, spending, spending. But if I have to for emergencies, I got it on standby. I can imagine your fear. You were like, "Oh God, it's not working. There's no ATM." <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yes, I found you. Ha, huh, you're not a too. But you can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. My kind? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, if you run into Hestu, I'm just messing, by the way. Please return this to him. Korok seed. Juan. This small seed was given to you by Korok. It, was a, it has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. This looks like poop, but gold. This better not be a prank, bro. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. You heard him? Time to look up some suspicious places. Alleys, basements, attics at night. Oh, boy. My favorite. <laughs> Dude, he's racist. I'm just messing. I don't think he meant it like that. He's like, you know, in general, like, you know, hey, I didn't know you could see me. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if I did like a YouTube short, just just as a goof. I'd be like, guys, I discovered today this Kurok is racist. And that just, just like, just, yeah. Can you believe it? He said this. Unbelievable. I love these things. And actually, honestly, I don't think I see an Ocarina of Time, matter of fact, so I can't use this as a reference. But... Racist! <laughs> I'm just joking. He's not racist. He's just, he's just... Magic poop? It says seed, but it looks like poop. He says if I get a lot of this seed, not poop, something might happen and it has a distinct smell that's what's called that's what's kind of sussy but very well i'll play along mr korok there's in wind waker was there really did i play wind waker 
Demon Waker. I think I did. I guess I forgot about that. I play mostly Ocarina of Time back in the day. In a splash of Majora's Mask. I guess Wind Waker... Hmm. Nothing. I do remember one of the characters. It was like a, a girl with a bird face. I remember her. Link. And the dragon boat. That's it for now. I mean, I have to sit down here and think really hard and pull out some old memories, but for now, that's all I got. The Koroks? Nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that would be so clickbaity. Can you imagine? Races Korok found in Breath of the Wild in this mountain. See for yourself. See what he says. <laughs> oh man, hashtag canceled. No, I'm just messing. I, again, it was a joke. I don't think he's racist. Now, how does one proceed from this? I think I can make that right. Oh, no! <laughs> was that... Is he dead? I have lost one heart. Okay, but for some reason, it faded. He didn't connect with the ground, so it means I can't proceed forward. But it looks like I can... If I could... I could just hug this wall, climb down, and slowly get to this other location. But the game's like, no, bro, you gotta play by the rules. You gotta get that paraglider. But, anywho, let's use the... The, the thingy-majiggy. There's, so, there's a shrine right here, but it's around the corner. Where's the other one? I'm pretty sure I got like a couple of them, a couple of them on the on the map. Let's see. Nope, it's just this one. Okay, so we had to go this way. It's close to the temple. Oh wait, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm I'm messing. I'm messing. That's that's No, wait. That could probably be it. Right, right. Cuz spawn is this, right? No, that's the creep. I'm so confused. Wait a minute. Oh my god. What's this? What's this? No, that's spawn. That's spawn. This is the Tower of Not the Seven. Which says, rest in peace, my first death. Thanks, game, for reminding me. Uh, let's, uh, da, 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 da. screw it. We're gonna have to climb down. We'll make it work. We'll climb down, go to the shrine, get the glider, push forward. I don't know if it's just me, but there's buffering. No, it's not you, bro. It's it's me. It's all uh, Jesus. I'm dropping frames by a lot. Yeah. Holy crap. Hey, old man. Hmm. Then again, my folks are here. My